Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find inverse Laplace transform of these functions. So yes, let's proceed for this first function. Yes, here we can check that here we have 1 upon s minus 1 into s plus 2 into s minus 3, right? Yes, here if we have function 1 upon s minus 1, yes, we can find its inverse Laplace, right? Similarly, we can find inverse Laplace of 1 upon s plus 2 and 1 upon s minus 3, right? Yes, yes, here we have this formula, yes, L inverse of 1 upon this s minus a, right? This is what? This is e raised to a t, right? By using this, yes, we can find Laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 1, 1 upon s plus 2 and 1 upon s minus 3. Right, but here we can check that all these functions are here in multiplications, right? That means we should write this function in addition or in subtraction so that by applying linearity property and this formula we can find its inverse. So for this, yes, we have to write this function by using partial fraction method. So yes, let's write, yes, this is 1 upon, this is s minus 1, s plus 2 s minus 3 this is by by partial fraction yes we can write this is a upon s minus 1 plus b upon s plus 2 and this is c upon s minus 3 right yes here we have three non-repeated linear factors so here we have to take three constant in this way right now we have to find this a b c this constants here so for finding a Yes, we know how to proceed for this is, yes, in last lecture we have seen how to proceed for finding this constant a, b, c, right? So, for finding a, yes, what we have to do, yes, we have to put this s minus 1 is equals to 0, so that gives s is equals to 1 and we have to put s is equals to 1 on this side by this eliminating s minus 1 this factor so here we have this is remaining factor s plus 2 and this s plus sorry s minus 3 right now we have to put s is equals to 1 on this side so here we have yes this is so we got this is a right value of a now we have to find b what is b Yes, for b, yes, we have to put s is equals to minus 2, right? Now, we have to put s is equals to minus 2 on this side by eliminating this factor s plus 2, right? So, here we have remaining factor s minus 1 and this s minus 3. Now, we have to put s is equals to minus 2 on this is here, right? So, minus 2, when we put minus 2 here, we have minus 3 and this is minus 5 right so here we got this is 1 upon 15 right now for finding c what we have to do we have to put s minus 3 is equals to 0 that means s is equals to 3 we have to put here so for this we have to eliminate this factor s minus 3 so remaining factors are here this s minus 1 and s plus 2 right so we have to put this is here when we put 3 so we get here this is 2 and this 5 right so here we have this is 1 by 10 right now yes we have put s is equals to 3 for finding the value of c so we got c is equals to 1 by 10 right now we have to put the values of a, b, c in this equation 1. So yes, here we have now we have to take Laplace inverse, right? So here we have L inverse of this s minus 1, s plus 2 s minus 3 right this is 1 upon this here so now yes l inverse of this complete function so here we have to write down this is 
now yes we have to apply linearity property here right that means we have to operate this l inverse separately on this function right and now this are a constant so we have to take that constant this outside this operator so here we have l inverse of 1 upon s minus 1 plus 1 by 15 l inverse of this 1 upon s plus 2 right and then plus 1 by 10 l inverse of 1 upon s minus 3 right now yes what is the l inverse of s minus 1 yes this is e raised to this is t here then plus 1 upon 15 yes this is e raised to minus twice t l inverse of this is right next l inverse of 1 upon s minus 3 this is e raised to 3t right so we have find l inverse of this one right so this is we got required l inverse right so yes let's proceed for next function yes now next function here we have this is s plus 1 upon s cube minus 5 s square plus 4 s right now what we have to do yes first we have to factorize this function yes can we factorize this is here we can take s common from this so here we have s square minus this is 5 s plus 4 right yes again this is s plus 1 upon yes again we can factorize this is here this is quadratic right so we can factorize this is in linear so here we have this is s minus 1 into s minus 4 right yes this is the factorization of this quadratic right so we have yes this is cubic expression right so we have factorized this is in three linear factor right now we have to resolve this is in partial fraction right so yes here we have s plus 1 upon s s minus 1 s minus 4 right so here we have three linear factors so we have to take three constant in this way so this is a upon s plus b upon s minus 1 plus c upon this s minus 4 right now yes we have to find the values of a b c right and we know how to proceed for finding a when we have to find a we have to put s is equals to 0 right we have to put s is equals to 0 on this side by eliminating this s so remaining here we have s plus 1 upon this s minus 1 s minus 4 so put s is equals to 0 on this side so here we have this is 1 upon this minus 1 minus 4 right so here we have this is 1 by 4 right now next what is b yes we have to put s minus 1 is equals to 0 that means s is equals to 1 we have to put for finding b right so yes we have to put s is equals to 1 on this side so here we have s plus 1 upon this s into s minus 4 we have to eliminate s minus 1 here right so we have to put s equals to 1 here so here we have this 1 plus 1 upon this 1 and this 1 minus 4 so here we have this is 2 by minus 3 right so we got this is value of b right similarly what is c for c yes what we have to do we have to put s is equals to minus 4 yes for for finding c we have to put s minus 4 is equals to 0 that means s is equals to 4 so s is equals to 4 we have to put on this side so here we have this is s plus 1 upon s into s minus 1 we have to avoid this factor so we have to put 4 here so this is 4 plus 1 upon this is 4 into this is 4 minus 1 so here we have 5 and this is 15 right so we have find the values of a b c here right
we have to put all this value here. So here we have this s plus 1, s, s minus 1, s minus 4. What is a, b, c? Yes, we have to put here. So here we have this is 1 by 4 upon s plus minus 2 by 3 upon s minus 1 plus this is 5 by 15. Is this right? 5, yes, this is, sorry, this is 5 by 12, right? This is 5 by, yes, this is 12, right? So here we have s minus 4, right? Now, we have resolved this function in this partial fraction. Now, we have to take Laplace inverse on both sides, right? So next, we have taking L inverse on both sides. Here we have Now, yes, we have taken Laplace inverse of this function, right? Now, we have to apply this L inverse, yes, on this function, right? So, that means we have to apply linearity property. So, we have to distribute L inverse on this function. So, here we have 1 by 4, this is constant. So, we can take this is outside. This L inverse, similarly here, minus 2 by 3 outside. So, L inverse of 1 upon S minus 1 plus 5 by 12, this outside. So, L inverse of 1 upon S minus 4, right. So, what is this inverse? Yes, L inverse of this 1 by S, yes, this is 1. Then, minus 2 by 3, this is as it is and L inverse of this this is e raised to t, right? This 5 by 12, this is as it is. Into L inverse of this, this is e raised to minus 4t, right? So, yes, we got this is here. And this is the required L inverse of this function. So, yes, we got L inverse of this function, right? So, this is the required inverse Laplace transform of this given function. So, yes, how we have proceed for this function? Yes, first we have factorized this denominator, right? Here we got this three linear non-repeated factor. So, this is, we have resolved this is in partial fraction, right? And we have find the values of ABC by this way. And we have proceed, yes, here for finding this required Laplace inverse. So, yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.